Good morning, everyone. My name is Daphne. Um, this is my channel for all of my cross-stitching progress. Um, first, I would like to say um, welcome to all the new subscribers and followers, and I would like to say welcome back to all the returning subscribers. Um, I hope that you find something here that enjoy you enjoy and you want to keep coming back month to month um i do my videos monthly um just because i feel that way i have more to show in progress than doing it on the weekly um so this time i have no finishes um but I have lots of progress on my whips, which is works in progress, and I have some haul, and we'll go into my stitchy plans for the month of February, and yeah, that sounds about all that I have for you guys this month. Um, I did do a lot of progress. Um, I did a lot of a lot of projects, and I did good progress on each of those projects. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. So first we're going to go do the two whip go pieces that were my two main focuses, um, for the month of January. The first one was winter chores and I had slotted that for 10 days. Um, and I did get my whole 10 days, um, which was nice. And this is just a kit. Um, so here's what it will look like when it is completely finished. And then this is what I have currently. Oops, it's upside down. This section here in the middle was started by a friend of mine. Um, who had gifted me the this in a box of stuff. So this is what she had done. So what I'm doing is I'm working from the corner and seeing if this corner and this end up meeting up. Um, so this is what I've got done this month so far. It was working on coming down and doing some more in the sky. I got the horses here done and I outlined them. We got the house done. I started the grass or the hay, whatever you want to call this here. And then some little strips of snow. I started on this black part of this, um, the sled here. And we got this little man or little boy who's riding on the sled. And he is all completely outlined as well. So that's that. And this is, I believe it's 14 count, Ada? Yep. Um, in the kit. As I said, it was all a kit. So I just stuck with every, stuck it all. <laughs> did it all in there as, um as the kit and I also used that for some of the enchanting stitches um challenge of peace challenges monthly challenges last month for while well, we watched the hunchback of Notre Dame um so I know I did at least 700 stitches for one of the prompts and that prompt was a piece with an animal that you'd like to be your performing partner and I did 940 stitches on something that you're stitching with all the called for. And this was actually the kit. And I'm using it as is, not changing anything. And yeah, so this is what this is used, using this one as, as called for. Okay, so the next piece that I was called for Whipco... For January was pandemic and that one once again was another 10 days most of my projects are if it's a new start it's a thousand stitches um, 
if they're small enough and I think I could finish them, then they're a finish. Most of them are 10 days. Um, yeah, most of them are 10 days. A couple of them. One of them is an everyday stitch, but yeah. Um, if you guys haven't seen Pandemic before, this is what it will look like when it is done. It was by Long Dog Samplers. You can buy this now, but I got it when it was a free chart. Um, I'm trying the brightness up just a little bit more here. It turned all the way down. Now it's too low. Here we go. Now it's going to go that way. I'm going to go this way, maybe. So there it is the whole piece um i got it when they were doing it for a free for i think it was like a week um on their facebook group and now if you want it you have to buy it for, you have to pay for it which is fine you're still supporting the the designer and everything and i know a lot of people that are buying it now um because they like it this is on what do we got? 30 count linen access commodities and it's called the color is barley corn and I'm using Mrs. Seda's hydrangea silks. This is just one hank in here. I have another hank just in case but I don't think I'm gonna need it. Um, this is one over one because I ordered a when I ordered the fabric I ordered it too small. Um, so I don't didn't have the funds to order a new piece, so I just then oh well we're doing it as is. So this is the color of the fabric. It's a yellow. It's like a, it's it's a yellow. Um, so it actually works out really nice. And I actually finished the top row. So this is the entire top row, top first five pages. Um. The first five pages of Pandemic. And I started on the sixth page down here this month. So I got some good progress in 10 days. And this is the whole width of the fabric. And then it's not, like I said, you can tell it. Like way over here will be it. So I have like all this left over. And then it's not going to take all of this. There's no. Oh, no, no. I think maybe it's going to come down to this part. So I'll have, I'll have quite a bit left over to use for other things, which is nice. And this one I also used, I don't know if I used for any of the monthlies. Just looking at my book here. Yes, I used it for one of the prompts. It was a thousand stitches on something you're obsessed with. And I just like it. Um, I love purple. Purple is my color. And I like the fact that you can just go and go and go and go and go. And like two hours later, you have like 300 stitches done. Because you're just stitching one color. Not changing colors every, you know, two or three stitches. Um... And then I also used it for 200 stitches for um, a piece or a designer that starts with V, excuse me, V, H, or L. And I used it for L for long dog samplers. And um, let me see. I think I used it. I used it another one. Another prompt was 200 stitches for moon, sun, star, and purple. And I only had purple, um, so I did the 200 stitches on Pandemic in purple. So that got quite a few stitches this month as well. So those were my two that I worked on for my Wicko pieces. And I did get those two goals. Hit those two goals, which is great. Um... So now the rest of the Enchanted Did Stitches pieces, we had to work on something 
1600 stitches on any whip. So I actually chose my is this the one? Yeah. My new year new start piece, which is um Hope and Strength by G Glendon Place. Um this is a black and white picture. I didn't have color in my printer at the time I printed this out. Um this was their free chart during the Be Well and Stitch movement. Um, you can still grab, you can still get this kit, this, um, this chart. It calls for, um, let me see here, one second. You can do it, they have the chart in Dinky Dyes, they have it in Sullivan's, DMC, and Anchor, but there are, um, Mill Hill beads and petite silk lame braid. I'm not doing any of that. I'm doing this as a stitch from stash. So I'm doing it all in cross stitch, all in floss. Um, so the spots where it calls for <clears throat> beads, I'm not doing that. So I had to put 1600 stitches into that piece. And this I'm just using on 32 count Belfast linen in white. Um, and we, I also used it for a piece that we could connect to either Bell Puma or the Magic Carpet, and I chose the Magic Carpet because, for me, there's some pieces in this that, you know, you could possibly see in a, you know, like an Oriental style carpet. And I believe those were the only two... The only two that I use this on. And I'm still working on the first page. And this is what we have so far. The first page. So we've got a variegated blue and white. Then there's the white and then there's a blue. And then these is like a darker, a light purple and a darker purple. Um this up here needs to be stitched in i need to fill in all the background here did a little bit down here um kind of hard to see white on white oh sorry but um i just liked it it was you know i enjoy it and i had fun so this one got what do we say 16 I did 1618 on the first prompt and I did 500 on the second prompt so this one got 21 approximately no I don't know <laughs> it got some stitches in on it and then next one I did, I did the Winnie the Pooh one. Um, this was another whole kit. I don't know, it doesn't say who it's from, but this is what it's going to look like, and it's just on 14 count Ada. Um, so yeah, this one got some, some decent progress, and... This one I used with the piece you can connect to Bell, Puma, and the Magic Carpet. And I said downhill skiing because it's Pooh and Piglet. And when I think of Pumba, I always think of Timon and Pumba. So when I think of Pooh and Piglet, or Winnie the Pooh, I always think of Piglet as well. So here is where we are currently with Pooh. Um, I finished Poo. He is completely stitched. We just need to work on everything around him um, so that he can finish and I can finish outlining him. I believe I worked on part of the stick here and the part up here. I finished out the headband and the little earmuff part and like I said I finished out 
stitching on poo. So he is completely stitched. There is no more stitching on poo, except for his boots and his skis. Um, but the bare part of poo is done. And then we got Piglet, and this is the start of Piglet's scarf down here. Um, this is the only one I used. Yeah, that's the only one I used this one on. So this one got 500 stitches this month. And then, let me just put this one away so I don't lose it. Alright, and then the next piece that I worked on towards the end of the month, because um, this one had wasn't released until the end of the month, um, it is Caterpillar Cross Stitch, the Made to Create Stitch Along. So I bought the whole kit, um, and it's a mystery stitch along, so this is what your kit looks like when you get it in the mail. Um, you can't see what the picture is, but um, when they released the first piece, they showed you a picture. Um, I think I have a picture. I know I had a picture. Oh, what happened to the picture? Uh oh, I thought I took a picture. Oh man, what happened to it? All right, well, let's check on the tablet and see if I took a picture, did a screenshot on the tablet. I know I have a screenshot of it somewhere, of the first section. I just don't remember where it was. Nope. I guess I don't. Um, hmm. I can get a picture, but I'm using all the called for kit supply. So these are all the colors of the that came with the kit. Um, yeah. There's the blue and the white, and then all these colors down here. Um, I only put one night of work in this. Um, to start out with. And then, is it in here maybe, or is this just the patterns? No, that's just the patterns. Um, so this is just using the called for kit supplies um, this green is just marking my center point. This is a 32 count even weave. So here's what I have so far. We've got the, there's a needle here. There's a needle here and then there's floss going running through the needle and this is going to be I think the marker or the paint and then this is their excuse me this is a needle minder that goes with it the made to create needle minder I'll get back to this one um, relatively soon because the next piece releases on February 25th um, I'm enjoying it. Um, it was a quick, easy little stitch, um, on that night. I did, like I said, I did that part all in just one night. Um, and it was, it was fairly easy. We're just trying to bring this up really quick. But I didn't use that for any of the prompts. Um, and it is on my whip go board for the month that it's called to do to do one part on made to create. All right. So can we right? 
I'm on phone. No, stay. Turn it. No? Yeah? Okay. There we go. All right. Technology this morning doesn't want to work for me. But, um... Here is the... Let me go this way. Here is the... You got the window open. Go this way. There's the made to create um, image. That's what the first part looks like. And we're going to get the, all the rest of it as the months go on. It's a six, six, six month stitch along. And then the next piece that I worked on, I worked on this while watching the movie The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, this is the Disney, this is Cinderella's Castle, The Art of Disney. I'm doing this on the called for 14 count Ada. Um, so this is what it's going to look like when it is completely finished. Even even Tinkerbell, we'll have Tinkerbell on there when it's done. But right now I am just down here. Um, there's still parts of this tree that I need to do. I started working on the brown. I did a little bit on the door, the archway here. Um, just plugging away little by little. I saved this one to work on while watching the Disney movies. Um, and it's a big piece. I think this it was like 16 by 20 inch <laughs> piece of Veda here. Bigger than that, but... So here is where I am. Like I said, I've got this, most of this tree is done. There's still a little bit of felling up towards the top that needs to be completed. A um, little bit on the side right here. And then I did all the brown. And it goes a little bit over to this side. And then I started to fill in. I finished filling in all of this little archway with the stones. Started over here a little bit. Um, and then I started the, this string of black. I just left it attached. Um, yeah. So we're getting there. Slowly but surely. It's coming along. Like I said, starting to get on the castle. So that's pretty fun. The bottom of this piece, this whole bottom, um, is the more stitch heavy section of this piece. The top section is more spread out um, because you're getting up into the top of it. You're getting up into the fireworks. So the bottom part here is all stitch. It's very stitch heavy. And then up here it gets a little bit less. Which is fine. I don't mind things that have a lot of stitches. Um, for me, I tend to go for the bigger, bigger pieces, um, which is fine. You know, everybody has the things that they like to stitch, and I like the bigger things. Yes, I do stitch some small stuff, too, as well. But I do a lot of the little stitching. The big stitching, sorry. And then I did pull out my Mirabilia, the scent of old roses, for a little bit this month. This is what she is going to look like. Um, this piece is a mem memorial piece of my mother. Um, she liked roses and she liked purple. So it two for goes, you know, hand in hand for my mom. Um, this one I'm using call for except for the fabric I'm doing on, on um, picture this plus picture this plus earthen instead of the darker green one um, and I use this one just for one prompt for the 500 stitches that you can connect to Belle, Puma or the magic carpet and I chose Belle for this piece because Belle wears, wears the fancy dresses and sh this is a 
fancy lady in the fancy dress. Um, so here's the whole, the whole piece. Um, it's not going to take this whole section on the bottom. I got enough that I have some left over. Hopefully, eventually, I would like to get her top part so she doesn't look like a headless person. But I actually still need to do the frogging. I haven't done the frogging yet on this piece. Um, I will show you what frogging I need to do in just one minute. Just folding it up here a little bit. Um, I worked on the purple in her dress a little bit. I need to frog this part, this section of the bottom of her dress, and this light, this greeny blue here, this, and it's all in here. I need to strip it, rip it up, take it out as well. I started the right color up here, then I just picked this color, I mix up my signal, my symbols or something. I don't know what I did, but I did, and I still need to take it out um, and put in the right colors. So maybe the next time I take this out, I will actually sit down and what I like to do when it's a little bit of stitching, like in here, I'll start, I'll pull out a section, grab the right color, fill it in, take some more out, fill it in, take it out, fill it in, um, all at the same time. Down here, because it's just replacing the color. Down here, what's going to end up happening on this section down here is I'm just going to end up taking this whole, pretty much this here, and I can't remember. I know part of this down here. This this part of the tip of the triangle is the right, is right. And I think these three rows here are right. I have to look at the, my pattern because I marked it on the pattern. But this pretty much is going to be ripped out completely because it's all, this is all wrong. Um, but yeah, it's just coming along nicely. This is just the cross, this is just the floss. I haven't done any of the krynik. I'm waiting to do that until more towards the end. Um, I'm enjoying it. And then... So that one, like I said, would get only got the 500 stitches. The 200. 500, sorry. That got the 500 stitches um, for that one prompt. And then I believe those were all of my pieces. Oh, no. I used this. I used my Game of Thrones piece for. Um, we had to put in 500 stitches into a piece that has saved us, and I chose this piece, um, because this piece helped me when I was in an unsettled time. I had a big move in my life, big lifestyle change, everything happened. Um, I moved 1,600 miles away from home um, to a place where I knew one person. One person. Yeah. Um, I'll say it was scary and unknowing, you know, the unknown. Um, but in the end, it has been well worth it. Um, you know, sometimes you just need that major change in your life, um, and it was a, it was a change. Um, so this is the Game of Thrones piece. Um, it was from a seller on Etsy. I Turn It Up Bright, I believe is the name of the store that was doing, that I bought this from. This is... I believe all the characters from Game of Thrones. I've never watched an episode, so I don't know. Um, this is making, I am making this piece for my boyfriend. Um, and I've been working on this since June of 2019. So almost two years, a year and a half. And I'm actually on the, 
I believe that is the third row of pages. Nope, I'm on the fourth row of pages. Sorry. Get my things right here. So this is, if it wasn't in the Q-Snap, this is what you would see this is all of the, um, come on, pay attention. So this is what I have stitched completely, um, on this piece. So we're getting into the people and we're getting, we're working on it. So this one, um, for the monthly in Enchanted Stitching, it got the, it got 500 stitches or well, 530 on that. And then I'm also using this one for, um, Enchanted Stitching Journey Through the Parks. So I used it for three of the, the prompt the parks or the attractions in Hollywood Studios. We used it for, I used it for Star Wars, which was a thousand stitches. I used it for Indiana Jones Epic Stunt for 2,100 stitches. Excuse me. And I used it for Beauty and the Beast for 11,000, 1,100, sorry. And I just started it for the Muppet Vision. Um, so next month that I'll You'll see this, all the progress on that as well. Um, so here is where this is currently. I just have this little section here to fill in, this section here, and this one, and then this diagonal will be complete, and I'll move on to the next diagonal. What I do with my diagonals is I work, I'll work in my parked threads first. Um, as I go, unless sometimes I kind of do it like two different ways. Some of my pieces, I'll look and see what has the least amount of, um, the least amount of stitches in the diagonal, and then I'll fill in that one. Or I'll work on filling in, taking in all of the part threads and working them in and moving them to the next diagonal before I fill in which is pretty much what I do, but I will sometimes, if I don't have anything, like up here on this guy's face, there's a few stitches that need to be filled in. I might fill those in and then go down um, because a lot of this right now, some in all of their clothing and stuff, a lot of it is the darker colors and 310. So what I'll do is I'll do all the colors and then I'll go in and do the 310 because there's big chunks of 310. So as I'm stitching with the 310, it'll um, catch all the threads that I trailed. Um, but, and all my extra fabric is in here. There's some here I just couldn't get in, but it's down enough out of the way that it doesn't affect anything. A little bit of fabric here and then the fabric is all tucked up in the back here. Um, yeah. And this one, this is the piece for my boyfriend, like you said, that I've been working on since June of 2019. Uh, 2018. No. 2019. June of 2019 is when I started this piece. Um, and this one, like I said, helped me during that uh, time, that major move, um, yeah, 1600 mile drive by yourself. It was, it was an adventure, um, but it was worth it. Um, and then towards the end of the month, since I had finished all of the prompts that I could with projects that I did have, um, I just grabbed a piece and I hadn't worked on this piece in a while. This is, um, and I enjoyed it and I was actually thinking about it. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this out. This is a quick stitch in time holiday, the artwork by Amy Stewart. And it was chartered by heaven and earth, heaven and earth designs. This is actually the bottom left hand corner. No, sorry. Right hand corner of the big piece of stitch in time. 
Um, I just like this little section of it with the snowman. So I'm actually working down here in this corner. I started from the right corner, the bottom right, because when I went and got the fabric and the floss, I was only able to get enough for like the first few pages. Um, so this one had the most area of certain colors. Um, so I was like, well, you know what? I'll start on this corner down here. And so that's what I did. And this piece this month I did um, about a thousand stitches approximately. Just double check my math here. Um, that we only worked on this for <clears throat> excuse me for two days, the 29th and the 30th. I got 487 stitches on the first day and 453 stitches on the second day, so it was 940 stitches um, for the month of January on this piece, which I don't think was too bad. Um, just a 28 count even weave. Um, so here is where we are. I did, I took all the park threads that were, and I did this, parked all, the, took all the parked threads that were in this diagonal, park, filled them in, and then parked over the next one. But before I did that, I did the diagonal that was right here, um, and did all those. So that's what we got there. This is the, like, all the twigs in the snow, um, thing. And then this needle minder is part of my haul, which is from the Black Needle Society, the date with your stitching box. That was the needle minder that was in the box. I did an unboxing for it, but I don't think, I don't know if everybody likes those type of videos. So I'm just going to go through those, the box quickly um, when we get to haul. So this is, I'm still working on filling in this section of the, um, of the diagonal here. Just 28 count. Um, I believe I got this from Fire Poppies. This will, this piece I believe will be coming out in February. I'll have to double check. Um, we're going to go over plans in one minute. Um, just put it back in the bag here. So, for my... Those are everything that I stitched on. I did stitch on one other piece. And that is the piece that's for my best friend. Um, unfortunately, I'm not sure if she watches this or not so I'm not going to show it but I did use it for semi-sane stitchers which is a closed Facebook group their monthly focus challenge um and what you do is you need to stitch a thousand stitches and then you take a picture with a written down password um that they give us each month and every time you hit a thousand stitches, you take a picture and you post it. And you can do it that way. Well, this month, on that one piece, for that one challenge, it was, I got 500, uh, 5,004 stitches done on that. And I used that one for 800 stitches on Enchanted Stitches. For something that was made out of stone because there is mountains in it there were stones in it and i used it for 200 stitches for designer that starts with h um and i used it for 606 stitches 
for a piece that shows three color families. Um, so those stitches were part of the 5,004 stitches um, that that one particular piece got this month. Um, so my needles were, were flying this month. Um, <clears throat> so for February, my pieces that I'm going to do, um, I have my best friend's piece. I'm using that for one, two, three, three of the Enchanted Stitching Challenge piece challenges for the month. Um, reminds me of something that happened in my life. For designer that maybe the pieces that either the designer starts with these letters or there's some those letters are in the name of the piece for D, S, J, and Y, and I'm choosing it for D. Um, and using it again for a piece with 15 colors, um, because that piece has quite a few colors. Um, as you all well know, if it's a heaven and earth design piece, it's got a lot of colors. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I'm going to use Game of Thrones for, so this one here, my Game of Thrones piece. I'm going to use this for black, so I need 300 stitches in black. That will be no problem at all. Um, I'm going to use this one. We can work on any whip. For eight, 1988 stitches, so that'll be used on this one. And that is it for this one, except for the Journey Through the Parks. This will get worked on for Journey Through the Parks as well. And we are going to do. Oh, I didn't bring him in. But. I'm going to work on this piece here. Oh, hang on. Boop, 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 boop. New PDF. Oh, well, this one here, it's Baby Yoda. Um, I'm going to work on this guy this month. Come on. Work on this guy this month um, for a couple of the prompts. It's going to be used for green, for 300 in green, and then I have one or two other, two possibilities for this one. 60 minutes working on the closest finish, and if you finish it within that 60 minutes, you get extra points. Um, and so the other one that I have slotted in for that one possibly is Winnie the Pooh because this is going to get used for um, nothing else on this one, but this is my focus, my whip go piece for, Janu for February, and that is downhill skiing, and that is 10 days on this one as well. Um, so it'll either be this one or it'll be the Yoda one that I'll work on for that last prompt for 60 minutes. Um, I don't have the quick stitch scheduled, and the Caterpillar cross stitch comes, the second part comes out on the 25th, but I will work on getting the first part finished before the 25th so that I can work on the second part. My Mirabilia, this one is slotted in for most expensive piece. Because of the fabric and all the floss, and I bought all the beads, um, and the whisper and the crinic. So we got that one, and that's gonna get 800 stitches. Um, and then another one that we're gonna work on this month is Surprise Elmo for. Like for the letter S because its title is called Surprise. So we got Elmo. 
And this is where Elmo is. Um, and I know I did a rough estimate. There is more than 500 stitches on Elmo. Um, so this is where Elmo is. Hopefully Elmo will have a face when you see him next. Um, another one that I'm going to pull out this month that I haven't touched since last year is the Three Things Sampler. And this is for S for Three Things Sampler. Um, like I said, I haven't pulled this out since last year when I used it to do the prompt for the border. Um, so this one here hasn't been touched, like I said, since. Um, if I can get it. So this is how wide it is. I'll have extra fabric on the side. Um, and then there it is all the way. I just need to connect, hopefully, this border and this part of the border will connect. Um, and then the whole border will be done. But I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or if I'm going to um, work on the inside, which I might work on the inside. So I think I'm not burnt out on the border of this one. The next one, um, I'm going to restart this one for another friend of, for a friend of mine. Um, and this one is represents a dream. Um, so I know a lot of my friends, former coworkers, that teaching was like their dream. Um, so this is going to be, and I personalize it with their name here. Um, so yeah, I just got to pick the colors for that one. That will be a new start. And then another one that I'm going to work on is my temperature chart for 2020. For this one is 200 stitches for blue, 200 for yellow, 200 for black, 200 for green, 200 for red on a white background. And this one is actually like this. If I did it like this, but this was the one that I'm actually going to put little motifs after each of the months. It was something that happened within that month. Um, but this one has all the colors. And, um, I figured I can do that because it's on white and it has all those colors and I need to work on it anyway. And this one is pulled for Jan for February Whipco, um, for 10 days. So I just figured, you know what? I'll do it two times. I'll get it done. Work it for two. Um, so this is where it's at. We've got, I got to finish out January with the highs and lows do February highs and lows. I can do April highs and lows. I started, which month is this one here? Under the L, under the L. This is June. Um, but I need to think of what I'm going to put for the April motif. Um, I think I know what I'm going to do in the February little motif. They're not going to be super huge, just something, give it a little personalization. So I'm not sure exactly how much of this fabric, um, it will take, but it is over one stitching. Um, and the black is all outline, outlining the, um, the months. So this will get at least 10 days, um, and at least um one two three four five so at least a thousand stitches because it's five colors and you need 200 stitches per color um so that's that one and we're gonna do my, like i said my best friend's piece for a couple of the prompts for enchanting stitches and for the 
Jan February focus for um, semi stained stitchers. And I think, oh, and for Y is going to be Yoda, um, because the pattern name is called Baby Yoda, um, even though I know that's not his name. From the show, that is what the name of the pattern is called, um, and that's going to get 500 stitches um, on that, and then... 300 stitches on the green, which there's plenty. There's like 900 and something stitches on green. Um, so we got plenty for that as well. Um, I might just use the same color for both those prompts and just get his face done. We'll see what happens when that time comes. So those are... <laughs> that's what I've stitched on this month. Those are my plans for the month. Uh, that was my what I stitched on for January. Sorry about that. And that's my plans for February. And now um, I have a little bit of haul. Not a whole big thing. But I got a little bit. We were um, visiting our friends in the beginning of January. And their daughter, had we had gifted her daughter a Hobby Lobby gift card. So she wanted to go spend her gift card. Um, and <clears throat> fun little fact, I actually have a real life hedgehog. Maybe in the next video he'll I'll bring him out. Um he is nocturnal, so he sleeps during the day. Um, but he's actually just over that way, um, sleeping in his, his little home. But this pretty much looks like him. This one's got a little shorter of a nose, but his his little nose is just a little bit, um, longer. So I grab this kit, and I'll make it, and then I'll stitch his name, um, underneath him. And I'll probably put just, might just put 2020, um, underneath it with a little dash, because we got him in 2020. So we got that. And then in here is just extra flaw, uh, fabric. But I did get some fabrics as well. I got this one because when it was rolled up, I saw the hedgehog. Um, but it has um, all kinds of animals all on it. Um, all the animals. From A to Z. Well, the dinosaur is extinct. extinct. But I just thought it was cute with all the animals. Um, like I said, I grabbed it just for the hedgehog, not realizing that there was other animals because it was rolled up and I just saw the hedgehog on it. And then this was in the clearance section. Um, figured these would be good for like backings and stuff like that. And there's this one here with moose and bears and tree, uh, tents, sorry. Um, it's a pretty good size. Could get a couple smalls out of this one. Um, and that's doubled in half. And then I got one more little piece. And this is just a little blue. Um, they said it was damaged, but it's not, like, hugely damaged. It's just right here. There's just, like, little nicks in it. Um, that you can just cut your piece around that, but, um... That's the whole little strip there, and they said it's doubled, um, so you just cut that little piece out when you get to use it. And then that was, that was that little bit of, um, haul, and then I'll just go through really quickly the <coughs> date with your stitching box. This is a subscription box every two months from the Black Needle Society. Um, and it comes in this box. This is the way it ships. My shipping information is on the back side. But this is the way it ships. <coughs> um, the needle minder that I showed earlier was from this. Um, and this is the way it comes all in here. Ooh, don't drop anything out. 
Um, so it gives you the card. Whoops. That's the inside of the card. There you go. Gives you the card, and inside it tells you about each of the things. Um, <clears throat> there was a piece, we got to choose our count of fabric. Um, so I chose, <clears throat> excuse me, 32 count even weave, and this is fiber on a whim. It's an eighth of a yard, and it says in lipstick. So if anybody has any good patterns or suggestions of something to put on this fabric, please let me know. So I'm drawing a blank on what to put on this fabric. <clears throat> so that was the fabric that was in there. And then we got specialty floss. Bouquet. Fiber on a whim, hand dyed. Um, it's the you know, greens and pinks. And then there was um, the head to toe moisturizer in this little container here. And then you've got a date night candle. There's oak moss, lavender, amber, and tonka bean in there. Like I said, I go through more in depth on unboxing if you want to see that. But I just figured some people don't always watch unboxings. I don't like them, so I figured it would show it really quickly. There's a pair of scissors. And then there was this love potion, color changing hot chocolate. So you just pour it in <clears throat> and it changes color. And then there's the fancy lollipop from the Laughing Forest. This is blueberry lime, blueberry lemon thyme. Those are actual blueberries in the middle. <clears throat> and then we got a little project bag. And last but not least is the exclusive pattern. This is a waffle lot. My plan um, this weekend is to go to hop to the craft store and get the fabric. I gotta look and see what flosses I have. Um, might have to grab one or two. It's all GMC, I believe, and probably start this on Valentine's. So that is the basket, the box from. Black Needle Society. The next one will come out in March. Um, and I'm looking forward to that. Um, and then I think that's it. Um, yeah, that is it for today. Um, I hope that you all found something that you enjoyed. Um, if I enabled you, that is okay. Um, there are people out there that enable me as well. Um, so I do have another question. I'm thinking of doing a monthly stitched series, um, that has a different month. Obviously every month there's a different month. Months change. But I know there's so many different monthly series out there. It's hard to choose which one. So if you could leave some suggestions on your favorite monthly series, that would be great. Um, so like I said, I would like to do a monthly series at some point. I don't know if I'd start it this year or if I would start it for 2022, but I would like to have a monthly series that I could change out every month. Um, so suggestions for what to put on the lipstick fabric and suggestions for monthly series, stitched series, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, so with that, I will say have a great day, have a great week, have a great February, and I will see you guys and girls. I will see everybody that wants to join me in my next stitch with me. Leave suggestions on what project you would like me to stitch on during my stitch with me. Um, 
as well, or any questions or topics that we can talk about during my Stitch With Me's, that would be great too. All right, have a great day and have a great February. See you guys later. Bye.